things. Yeah, man, it comes down to a lot of things too, right? It's overwhelming. And I, I actually took an opportunity today to like write down just a list of things that you really kind of got to keep in line in order to be a successful grower. And, and you mentioned a few of them, genetics, lights, humidity, temperatures, heat. How cool is it? I, what kind of soil? What nutrients, man? That's only half the list here, man. Like, how did you kind of slow yourself down and, and get started? Like, what was your first kind of check it off the list? I mean, first of all, I think it's extremely important that you know what you're actually growing. Because if you don't know what, you, what, what you're dealing with, then you don't know how to treat her. Or is it even a her? You know, you don't know if you have a feminized seed, you don't, you know, so that's always very important, in my opinion. And then, you know, take it step by step. You start with germination, like find your way how to germinate. You know, I used to do a lot. I used to put them in, uh, in a glass of water and then, you know, after 12 hours, let the seed sink down and wait until it sprouts and then pick, put it in a paper towel and then wait until the radical is even a little bit bigger, then put it in a jiffy and so on and so on and so on. I was out of my perspective nowadays overdoing it because nowadays I just wait until, till I throw in a, uh, in a glass of water and uh, wait until I see it for a little crack and then I put her in soil and then that's it. Because then that way, my, uh, with a few of mycorrhiza, of course, just to like make sure that she gets the, all the nice bacteria going on in the, for the roots. But that's it. And then I don't interrupt her, her you know, and that's, that's the first step. I think we overcomplicate it too. Like, like you said, like at the first two, I did the same thing. It was like I soaked it for 18 hours. Then I put it in a paper towel. I put it in a baggie. It had to be in a humid and moist place. And I, I think I overcomplicated it, Sebastian, because like to me, man, I was making an investment in my consumption. I was already spending so much money on cannabis at the dispos and stuff that I knew that if I took the yeah. risk on getting equipment and it fucked up, how was I going to compensate that? 